Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. So we're going to be talking about the Stream Deck versus the Streamlabs OBS remote control today. This got brought up in one of my streams last night and in my opinion I wouldn't, if I knew that Streamlabs was going to bring out a remote control then I wouldn't have gone and purchased the Stream Deck at £140. I purchased that Stream Deck about two years ago and about a month after I purchased that Stream Deck, Streamlabs OBS then came out with this. You know, it does exactly the same thing as the Stream Deck, but it's for free. You don't have to pay £140 to make your stream look professional, to be able to change the scenes on the fly just by touching the screen. You know, you don't have to download... Well, you have to download the, the application, but you don't... Net, you know, once you download the application, you literally go to Streamlabs, you click the little cog icon, and... We'll show you just quickly here. So you're going to, we're going to go to the live screen. So this is the application that you need, Streamlabs OBS Remote Control. So you download that application, then you're going to go on to, on to here, which is the settings with OBS, Streamlabs OBS on the PC. Go down to Remote Control, you're going to click show you're going to put your phone or your tablet up to that scan it inside of this application and that will link your phone or tablet directly to the streamlabs on your pc but you need to make sure that you're on the same network i.e you are on the same internet in your house your broadband if you're on wi-fi or cable Whatever, make sure you're on the same network, otherwise this will not work. And another thing is, this is the interface that controls the Stream Deck. So, you know, there is so many things inside here that you can put on to the Stream Deck. You know, you can make folders and put all of this into one folder, so you could make, you know, 15 folders with 15 icons in each folder but this does not automatically update you have to build the buttons you have to make the button picture and all of that sort of stuff yourself where if we go back to the screen that shows the tablet here Whenever you make a new scene, the new scene is automatically added directly to this because this is linked directly to your Streamlabs. So, we, like I said, we are December 2019 now. I bought this about two years ago. And if I had to purchase it again, would I go and purchase it? Cost-wise, probably not. Functionality, yeah, it does the job that it's designed to. But the thing is, I use my tablet for other functions when I'm streaming. You know, like if I'm playing Project Cars, then I'm watching the lap times and so on and so forth on this tablet. So, yes, I need the Stream Deck. When I play Euro Truck, this has my destination, my fuel count and everything else on this tablet. So again, yes, I need the Stream Deck. But if you are a beginner streamer or you are a streamer that doesn't have a lot of income, go and download the application. The application is free. So you're looking at free versus 140 quid. It's a no-brainer, guys. Like I said, you scan a, scan a QR code with the app from your computer so it will come up in your settings the qr code will come up in your settings on your computer you scan it with your mobile phone or your tablet and all your controls are at your fingertips 
None of this bollocks of alt and tabbing out of the game anymore to change your scene and all of that shit. You want to make your stream look professional. Download the application. It is 100% free. Everybody that is a streamer will have a smartphone or a tablet. So there's no excuses that you can't do this. It is easy. So, like I said, I only use the Stream Deck still now because I already purchased it before the remote control came out. If the remote control was out, I wouldn't have gone and spent 140 quid on the Stream Deck. So that is just my opinion. I think the software can be sometimes confusing. And I think that if you are not majorly software minded and you can figure it out, then stay away from it. Their website is, you know, like when you want to build custom buttons, you have to click on this downwards arrow create icon. And there's meant to be an, the icons meant to show here. So like if I click on any of these icons, you know, you can see the preview. Oh, you guys can't see because I'm on the wrong screen. Right. So this is the Elgato web page interface where you build all your buttons. As you can see in the preview window, you can see I can, I can move it around in the in the preview window, but I can't actually see the button itself. So there's something wrong with the website at the moment. So the day that I decide to record a video talking about the Stream Deck versus the remote control, Elgato lets the side down by their website not working properly. So, make of it what you will, guys. Like I said, this is something that is 100% free versus something that's going to cost you 140 quid for the 15 button stream deck. And then, if you want the 30 something odd button one, it's like two and a half hundred pounds. So, it's a no brainer. Go and download the application. The application does everything that this £140 device does. So, like I said, you can make your streams look professional. It's easy. So, just one little thing before we go. We'll go back to the live screen. And we will bring Streamlabs down here. So, you get a mirror image. So, you know, I obviously have my transitions and the lightning flashes, the, the screen shut down and all of that. So, basically, when you... Oh, are we on the right? We're on the wrong one. Wrong one again. Right. So, if you want, instead of it just jumping from one scene to the next scene once you've set up the remote control... What you need to do is you need to click, so say you're on on the screen here with your scenes, you're going to click the cog and then you're going to make a transition. So you're going to add transition, you're going to then make sure that you click stinger, then you're going to browse for whatever kind of video or... You know, if you're good with uh, Premiere Pro or anything like that, and you make, like, in between the scene changes, you could have, like, your name of your channel or a, a little cartoon character running in and then running back off the screen. Just something to break it up instead of it just going ch -ch -ch straight to the next scene sort of thing. So you can add whatever kind of video you want in on this little tab here. And then once you've added your video in, then work out, you know, if you want it to fade in and fade out or fade out and fade in and fade out, um, how long you want the transition point to be and so on and so forth. Once that's all done, then um, it is so straightforward. Like I said, you know, like with me changing my scenes, you see the two, two come down, bashes together, the lightning goes through the middle and that's that. But there you go, that is 
the Elgato Stream Deck versus the free, remember guys, that is free, Streamlabs OBS Remote Control. So as always, I've been Dr. Dave. You guys have been amazing. Thank you for supporting the channel, and we will catch you on the next one. So take it easy, everybody, and bye for now.